My name is Kevin Dana and I'm the Global Category Manager for Giants Off-Road Bicycles. Right now we're in Leo Gang, Austria. We came for the World Cup, final World Cup event of the 2013 season. And we've stayed the following week to work with Giants athletes in the development of a brand new Glory DH bike. Basically building a brand new Glory from a white paper built around 27 and a half inch wheels. We've got the SRAM crew here with us working super close with the athletes and uh, the off-road development team to really ensure that the bike we're working on is really the fastest bike that we can build. Yeah, day zero. It's kind of fun to actually end the World Cup season and kind of already be looking forward to next year in a big way. Got a week of testing. This is uh, early on in the development and we're gonna, we're gonna test this bike and see what it's got. For us, this is a whole different game. You know, we've got to start from scratch. We've got a whole different platform, really. Yeah, we've got our store Maestro suspension, but it's a whole new bike, really. Are we going for a maiden voyage? I'm giddy, giddy like a school kid. test on the same track we race on and we're going to race next year, that's really good, you know. We're really up to pace, you know, know how to go fast here and then you can sort of see improvements with this new bike. There's less feedback and less like, you know, push it harder. 27.5 was instantly faster. It took them one or two runs to feel comfortable on the bike and then when we asked them to take it to their maximum, take it to their limit, it was many seconds faster per minute. You're doing 207s all day, like same second. Put a life on the line run 205 on his 26. Third run on this bike 203. Dude, did, did, you, did you lay it on the line? No, not really. I just let it do the work. You're like, holy hell. From that week, we uh, knew the bike was at least on a two minutes track, we knew the bike was at least three to five seconds faster than we could obtain on the old 26 bike. 26, if you miss where you're gonna land, you might, you know, like it's a small undulation in the ground. And this one, just wherever you land, it goes forward. I guess the surprise was, you know, the speed we were able to carry and without kind of getting too ragged, we were to carry a lot more speed. I'm liking the bike. Feels definitely faster, comfy as well. I feel that I can push it more than the 26, which is a good feeling for me. I would say the 27.5 bike was definitely instantly faster than the 26. It was really good to be able to compare like that weekend that we had during that race with the days after it when we were riding a 27.5 bike, New Glory, and finding how fast and how easier it was to ride through rough sections, breaking bumps, how the braking was better, the rolling was better. It's been great. It's been uh, super busy, but super productive. You know, we, we came in with a kind of a blank slate. This is the second track we've been to at Austria, and the guys put down a ton of runs. They're pretty stoked. You know, Marcelo is going faster than ever. He's super comfortable on the bike. You know, we're in a good spot. You know, figure the World Cup season for 2013 just ended four days ago, and uh, we've already established a great baseline for uh, the 2014 season. So these guys get to go home with their new bikes, uh, train the entire off season on the new 27.5 Glory, and uh, come into the 2014 season fresh and super comfortable on a, a much more capable, much faster bike. The World Cup circuit is an ideal proving ground because it's the most demanding environment for the product. The product has to be 100% dialed. You don't ride this fast at anywhere else, you know. You're pushing yourself and your bike to its absolute limits and beyond. It's where you're taking everything to the limit. Like, you're always on the edge. You're going as fast as you can over the roughest, gnarliest courses that are out there. It was obviously an advantage for me to go into the first World Cup that we had a great bike, we'd done everything we needed to do to it and 
We were just ready to go racing. The nerves at World Cup is pretty, it's out there as like, you're borderline scared. You're in that star line thinking, right, this is it now. We've got to put everything out there and hopefully we'll pull a good run together. The Glory 27.5 has many new features. It's really race tuned. With that, we're looking at a longer top tube, a longer front center, which results in a longer wheelbase. And overall, that's a, a more stable, controlled bike. With a longer front center, you've got a lot more room for your body to move around when you hit things, things like that. So um, that was really exciting for me to be on a bike that I feel fit. We wanted to go with a longer eye-to-eye -eye shock. We wanted to be able to manage the suspension travel in an easier way. We wanted the bike to be able to take on more work, but do it without overworking the suspension unit. features a shorter chainstay than the previous generation glory. With a shorter chainstay, we're able to be a bit more snappy in the tight turns. I know it's with riding the 27.5 and obviously having the bigger service area on the ground that you can push in turns a lot harder. The suspension, the wheel size and the geometry make the new 27.5 glory faster and more efficient. The wheels allow for more grip, more contact with the ground, as well as improved rollover through hits that would normally hang the wheels up. You can just tell that you're rolling so much faster and every time you hit the rocks and stuff like that, you're just gliding over the top of them and it's such a smoother ride, which then enables you to push the bike even further. It's a bike that gives me more control, more confidence, and I think confidence is like what we need the most. The new glory has taken all of, of what we know, not just from the World Cup downhill, not just from the factory in Taiwan, but from suspension engineers, from product engineers, from our race technicians, from our riders. It's synthesized all this information into making the best bike you can possibly make.